Hi, I'm Jacqueline Stewart, coming to you from the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures in Los Angeles. Thanks for joining me here on TCM as we continue our night of Oscar-winning and nominated fantasy adventures. Our next film is an epic from director Frank Capra about a legendary paradise called Shangri-La. From Columbia Pictures in 1937, Lost Horizon. Ronald Coleman stars as a British diplomat who leads a rescue mission out of China. When their plane crashes in the Himalayas, the group stumbles upon a mystical place where peace and brotherhood reign supreme as no one ever grows old. The movie is a faithful adaptation of James Hilton's best-selling novel published in 1933. The book immediately caught the attention of Frank Capra, who was one of the hottest directors in Hollywood at the time. Capra had recently won Oscars as Best Director for It Happened One Night and Mr. Deeds Goes to Town. He was excited to adapt Lost Horizon because it offered him the chance to make a fantasy adventure on a grand scale, something he hadn't done before. He persuaded Columbia studio boss Harry Cohen to finance the production, which was extremely expensive at the time. And the studio's art department went to work building Shangri-La on Columbia's Burbank Ranch, consisting of 65 sets and more than 700 props. Unfortunately for Capra, the film's first preview was a disaster. The movie was far too long, clocking in at over three hours. But Capra knew how to cut it down, and in its shorter version, it turned out to be a hit. In later years, whenever it was reissued, more was cut out of the picture, until it ended up running roughly an hour and a half. The AFI has restored the film to its original roadshow length of 133 minutes, allowing us to see the ambition and complexities of Capra's original vision. Filmmaker and historian Arthur Dong has observed that the opulent paradise in Lost Horizon is, quote, predicated on the subjugation of the Chinese by white saviors and colonialist missionary ideals, end quote. Though the entire soundtrack was still intact, some scenes remain lost, and in this restored version, you'll occasionally see still photographs standing in for that lost footage. From 1937, nominated for seven Oscars, and with a cast that includes Jane Wyatt, Thomas Mitchell, Sam Jaffe, and H.B. Warner. Here is Frank Capra's Lost Horizon. Lost Horizon earned seven Oscar nominations and won for its art direction and editing. It was also nominated for Best Picture. And even though Frank Capra wasn't nominated for directing, the movie did score a nomination for Charles C. Coleman as Best Assistant Director. That category lasted for just five years and ended the year Lost Horizon was nominated. The film also earned an Oscar nomination for H.B. Warner as Best Supporting Actor for his performance as Chang. Warner performs in Yellowface, a common Hollywood practice for Asian roles. Warner had been a star during the silent era, best known for playing Jesus Christ in Cecil B. DeMille's silent epic, The King of Kings. When sound came in, he became a popular supporting player and was a special favorite of director Frank Capra's. Warner gave memorable performances in some of Capra's best films, including Mr. Deeds Goes to Town, You Can't Take It With You, and It's a Wonderful Life. Up next is an Oscar-winning fantasy from England in 1940, based on a classic story from the Arabian Nights. <laughs> 